Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Bora here. We are now on this May 12, 2023 NBA Game Days. We have a couple of, um, ga uh, we have a couple of games for today. Uh, the first one will be an Eastern Conference semifinals between the New York Knicks and Miami Heat, and that will happen at around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, this one's going to be game number six. Currently, Miami Heat is actually up on this series three games to two. I am just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given here is minus 5.5, and that is actually given towards the home team, that is Miami Heat. As we all know, we actually provide free uh, predictions right here in our little channel, Pase Baller. But for those who would want to avail our best picks or premium picks, you can actually reach us through Messenger, um, Instagram, or uh, Telegram. You can just actually check on the, uh, uh, the description of this videos if you would want to avail those. Also, we, we also provide um, uh, picks for Major League Baseball and National Hockey League. All right? All right, let's go back to this particular game. Again, uh, Miami Heat, they would now be at home, so they would be having the home court advantage. But in terms of momentum, man, the New York Knicks actually got it back because of that huge win that they got in the Garden at uh, game number five. A lot of people actually thought that that will be it for the New York Knicks because of uh, the dominating performance of Miami Heat. But then again, New York Knicks showed up on that game number five. Now let's go ahead and check on the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For the New York Knicks, Emmanuel quickly is still listed as uh, questionable for this game. While for Miami Heat, um, Tyler Hero is uh, confirmed out for this one. Um, while Jimmy Butler, Highsmith, and Caleb Martin are all listed as questionable, but highly likely still those players would actually play. Okay, all right, then this one's going to be tough, all right? For the New York Knicks, uh, they are literally having their second do-or-die game for this series. The first one w was, again, in game number five, and they were able to survive that. So on this particular game number six, they lose, they're out, right? So, and everyone knows that. Obviously, the New York Knicks uh, knows it more. For Miami Heat, for me, technically, this is also a do-or-die game for them. If they, lose at, if they lose at this game, they will go back to the New York Knicks' uh, house, which is the Garden. And we all know if you're, in, if you, if you're um, gonna be playing in front of the Garden crowd, game number seven, and you've lost back-to-back -back games, man, it's just gonna be so tough to take care of the New York Knicks by then. So I'm pretty sure that Miami Heat would want to take care of this game number six. Otherwise, it will be very hard for them to close the series out at game number seven. So really both teams would uh, would be pushing for this particular game uh, right tonight. <clears throat> this one's gonna be tough though. Uh, Emmanuel quickly, highly likely, would still not be playing for the New York Knicks. So the question there is, would, be, would Grimes and Brenton uh, be able to play that effectively uh, again on this game number six, um, considering the fact that they actually played like, like they played like the entire game, right? On that game number five, <laughs> for some reason, uh, the uh, the the coach of the New York Knicks still would want to make use of Fournier or Derrick Rose, you know, maybe just for even literally a couple of minutes, right? Still, he doesn't want to. I really don't know. Um, for Miami Heat. Of course, um, I'm, th I'm thinking of a stress uh, really taking its toll on them, especially for their stars. I'm talking about uh, Adebayo. I'm talking about Butler. They have been carrying the team, especially for Butler now, uh, who is actually carrying still uh, that injury that he incurred. Um, and he has been carrying the load in terms of scoring. So um, I believe I believe in stress. I mean, not, not just a stress, but I believe in um, fatigue, uh, taking its toll on you. One way or another, in a single, you know, in a certain game, it will be seen. So, not sure if that will, if this one will be it, but you know, we got to be careful with that. Um, this one's gonna be tough again because uh, the the Miami Heat, they have every reason in the world to close it out right now. They are in front of the, they, they are in front of their crowd. Um, it seems like Butler is actually playing. They have an opportunity to attack Brunson and Grimes because I don't know, I really don't know how. Uh, how effective they would be after after playing 48 minutes but I'm just really holding back because of that 5.5 spread 
uh, yes, there, there, there is a huge possibility that Miami Heat will close this one out tonight. But the 5.5 spread is something that I'm not comfortable of. Um, I feel like if ever Miami Heat will actually win this one tonight, my, the New York Knicks would really push them to the limit. The New York Knicks would really fight for the fight for their lives. And 5.5 for me is just a bit big. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking the New York Knicks in here with the plus 5.5. Again, I'm not that comfortable um, putting money on a two possession two possession lead bet against uh, the New York Knicks who just came from a win, and you know, um, and against a Miami Heat who's star is actually having some sort of an injury and of course we can't you know we can't just discard that uh butler actually had a sprain just a cup you know just several days ago so my pick on this one would be the new york knicks with the plus 5.5 i'm pretty sure that both teams will actually push their you know themselves to the limit so i'm expecting a new uh, a, a close one in any case miami will go for the kill new york plus 5.5 peace out pass love and god bless